Hey everybody, it's Jerry Gonzalez here. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is my Windows 8 consumer preview review slash overview. I know it's a little late. I tried to upload this last week, but I had some complications. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and just dive into this. I'm gonna first go over my experience. Number two, I'm gonna go over a few bugs, some things I don't like in the program. And number three, I'm gonna go over does this operating system bother me and my overall thoughts. What do I recommend for you to do if you have Windows 7? Should you upgrade and stuff like that? All right, so I have a bunch of notes here. Hopefully I get through these quickly. Number one, having to set up Windows 8. Uh, Microsoft Live is a big part of the operating system that I've I've seen. I haven't tried it without internet connection, and you might, uh, if you guys have a separate partition running Windows 8, I don't currently. Try this out. Unplug the internet and see how Windows 8 runs. Uh, what I've seen is that, you know, uh, they ask you to sync up your live account with the operating system and I did so and basically it uses that password it uses uh, the name from that account it uses all the information from that account to basically set up your profile on Microsoft on Windows 8 and I don't know if I like that because you have to go to the Windows Live uh, to the Microsoft Live website to change any information um, that kind of sucked so I mean that's at least what I experienced uh, if you guys have anything to say about that, let me know. Okay, so Metro in Windows 8. That's the big thing that people are criticizing in the operating system. Now, did it bother me? No, it didn't bother me because, well, I didn't really use it much. 95% um, of my time was spent on the desktop. What I basically used the Metro screen for was pinning my most used programs to the screen uh, just for easy access, you know, a quick Windows key and click the program. Uh, besides that, all I did was use the Windows key to search for programs. Or just Windows key, start typing, searching like Windows key, photo for Photoshop, and that's all I would do. Um, that's really how I use the Metro screen. Now, why didn't I use the Metro screen too much? Why didn't I use it too much? Well, one, it's still really buggy. For example, some of the apps where, uh, for example, the Messages app, my social profiles like Facebook did not sync well with it. It didn't. It just didn't work, so it didn't give me the option to use it, to be honest. Uh, another thing, Metro apps do not take advantage of large screens. Uh, for example, Evernote. I use Evernote a lot, and just opening up that, that app, it didn't look good at all. It was just like too spacey, and uh, it was just weird. Um, so yeah, it's more meant for tablets, you know, smaller screens. Another thing, it was awkward to use the keyboard and mouse uh, on it in some apps. For example, the weather app, it had both horizontal and vertical scrolling. Like, what the heck? How am I supposed to use that? It's it wasn't pretty guys um <laughs> weird another thing because of the windows store still being because of windows 8 still being in the consumer preview the windows store didn't have a big selection of apps and some of the apps didn't run right some of them didn't install right a few metro apps i did use didn't have enough functionality for me i mean i get the whole simplistic idea but uh, simple things like checking email and not being able to mark multiple emails as read and unread is just weird it, it just it was a pain you know, I try to make they, they try to make things too simple again not enough functionality or features for me in the Metro apps thus far okay so some of the bugs I came across changing the shortcut icons and pinning them to the taskbar didn't work out so well they turned out as like white icons you know, like empty notes uh, another thing was the desktop wallpapers I ended up you know clean installing Windows 8 and the wallpapers I had in folders from that I backed up didn't look right even though they were the right resolution but as soon as I downloaded a wallpaper that was a proper size, it looked fine. I don't know, just weird stuff like that. Uh, another thing that I, well, something I did not like about the uh, operating system is that the Metro screen, let's say I'm using the Metro screen, let's say I did want to use it. Um, the Metro screen was only on one monitor. I don't know if this is an option or whatever, but uh, I was only, I, I would like to see the whole Metro screen across the whole thing expand over so I can see a lot more stuff going on. Um, and if people don't like that, at least make it an option, because that would be pretty sweet. Uh, some other bugs, you know, were just some programs not working. You know, I mean, some programs weren't completely compatible with Windows 8 yet, which is completely understandable. It's not out yet. Uh, some of the Windows Store apps didn't work right with the desktop, you know, way of doing things. More for touchscreens, so. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on Windows 8? Um, me. I like the idea of a desktop, and that's why I spent 95% of my time on the desktop. Now, unless the Metro style adopts some better functionality for multitasking, I don't see myself using it much. Uh, I can't, I don't know, I just didn't like the idea of having one program up at a time, even though I have the option to switch from one to another. I don't like the whole full screen thing going on there. Uh, the, only reason, the only times I use full screen is when I'm editing a video or editing something in Photoshop. I mean, 
I even have my internet uh, browsers open, you know, as windows, and I have multiple windows open, and I'm reading multiple stuff at once, so I, I, I didn't like that too much. I mean, but for basic people who are just doing one thing at once, I'm not sure if I said that in this video, I might have, I took so many takes of this. For people, for basic computer users who do one thing at a time, such as, you know, go on Facebook or something, uh, it's not too big of a deal. My final word on Windows 8, it's not a bad operating system, it works. I say this because desktop computing wasn't eliminated. If the desktop computing was no longer an option, I would not be, <laughs> Windows 8 would not settle with me too well. I would be pretty frustrated. But it's best suited on a tablet. This thing would be awesome on a tablet. I can't wait to see this working. I might even buy a Windows 8 tablet. Just because, you know, it's like a desktop right there on your, you know, mobile and stuff. It's pretty cool. Now, I don't think Microsoft has quite found the perfect recipe that works for both tablet, uh, keyboard and mouse, and laptop, all the platforms yet. Uh, now, I would say, you know, all in one yet. So, in the end, if you have Windows 7, stick with it. If you are fine with what your workflow, how it all works out and everything works fine, and everything's compatible with each other, things are fine, why change that? There's no reason to quote quote upgrade to Windows 8. Um, if you upgrade, you're just going to have a new learning curve and you're just going to have to find a new way to do things. So really, if you're finding Windows 7, just stick on Windows 7, guys. That's what I did with XP. I did not go to Vista. I totally skipped Vista. I, I laugh at people now when they use Vista. Some of you, I, actually, some people like Vista, which is weird. Now, Microsoft is taking a leap of faith with Windows 8 as its major change is the addition of the Metro system, basically the Metro screen and Metro full screen apps, which are highly reliant on the apps on the Microsoft store leaving it up to the developers it is up to the developers to make this operating system shine uh, i can see tweaks and stuff happening in the future to hopefully uh, make things better make things work better if you don't like the metro screen but that is what i have to say about windows 8. so there you go thank you for watching this video remember to thumb up comment and subscribe if you like this video in any way remember to follow me on twitter twitter.com slash comp help facebook.com slash comp help and gplus.to slash comp help